The easiest way to describe Indian Summer Festival is that it's a festival for the curious mind. Now to expand that, it's a multi-arts festival that centers and amplifies the voices of South Asian artists in conversation with artists from all around the globe and from different communities. So in a way, it's a kind of meeting place. It's, it's where worlds meet in Vancouver for two weeks in July. And we bring the top thinkers, artists, intellectuals, filmmakers, culinary magicians, visual artists together to talk about what it would be like if we imagined the world together. So the idea was really to create more intellectual, cultural traffic between Canada and India, which are two countries so far apart in every possible way, geographic, um, linguistic, cultural. And there's something exciting in that. There's something exciting in getting two sides of the planet to meet. And with my co-founder, Laura Bispalco, we started this all off. Um, really to look at creating a place where Vancouver could become part of a global conversation. It is really, again, in these 10 days to imagine what the world could look like if we put our best efforts together. And so in that, that's also why it's so diverse, covering, spanning everything from art and science and technology to food and music and film. And so festivals are essentially about community. They can't exist in a vacuum. They need community, whether it's a community of artists who come together to give it its vision or a community of, of the audience and a community of supporters. I mean, this festival exists because there's a community of people out there who wanted it to happen. Because, as we said, nowadays the world is an increasingly crazy place with uh, more and more walls being built. Now, especially if you're a, an organization that's putting forward a vision of inclusiveness, of diversity, of innovation, of hope, you need community because the community needs to pick up that story and walk with it. So what you do when you support this festival is that you support a vision of hope, a vision of inclusivity, a vision of innovation, and also a legacy that we pass on. What you're hearing now is a monologue, but what we really want is a dialogue. So I invite you to join this conversation, to be a part of this vision, to support this festival, and come along for the journey.